Hey, we got another integral on the board. We have the integral of three to the ln x dx. Right off the bat, the thing we want to address first is we don't want three as a base. We'd like e as a base. So we can do this manipulation where we can say that three is the same thing as e ln three. And you can do that with any constant value. And going back to our expression, let's again on the side, let's manipulate this. So we can rewrite our three as e, L, e to the ln three, and then we have our ln x. But then what we can do is we can just swap these. We can multiply the ln x in and take the ln three out. So we can write this as e ln x ln three. But then this is the same thing. e to ln x is just x when those cancel. So this is the same thing as x ln three. Good, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite our whole integral like this. So we're gonna have the integral of x ln three dx. The important thing to notice now, what we've done is this is just a number. So now we can just use the power rule on this and it's gonna be pretty easy to finish. So when we do that, we're gonna add, just add one to this and then divide by that same amount. So we're gonna have ln three plus one in the denominator plus C. And then this is technically correct, but what I like to do is get it back. It just seems, um, it's kind of polite to get it back in the original form. I don't know why, but we always do that. So let's try to get it back the way it was. So then let's rewrite, let's rewrite this as a product. So we can write this as x times x ln three over ln three plus one. And then we can just go backwards. We did this before, so we can go, let's see, we can take this. Let's see, we started off at three ln x. So we can take this and go all the way back to this. So our final answer is gonna be x three ln x over ln three plus one plus c, and we're done.